Hi everybody, this is from question 2 in your textbooks. Again, if you haven't uh, had a go at it first, please give it a go. And if you can't figure it out, uh, you're quite welcome to watch me do a quick uh, demo on how to solve each part. So this is again is from 10E in your textbooks, which I have linked to you on Teams. So. The first part of this question says um, the number of males and females retiring in the past 15 years is displayed in a double stem and leaf plot. Now you should remember how these work. Basically in this column here we have tens. All right, so this is actually 6, this is 9, but this one here is actually 11, then 13, then 16, then so on. So unlike before, this is not a frequency distribution table. So we don't have to worry about uh, multiplying the frequency into our uh, mean minus uh, 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 score minus our mean for working out standard deviation. Okay, so the first part is we're going to find the mean and median number of male retirees, but we'll also do the female retirees. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this and we're just going to move it slightly out of the way. We'll keep the data here, but we'll get rid of most of the rest. Okay. Actually, there's a better way of doing this. Just rasterize, grab this, hit delete, and then we are good. So Nope. Hold on. And delete that. Great. So, we'll leave our stem and leaf plot here, and we'll just work on the rest of the question. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find the mean and the median number of male and female retirees. So let's start with the males. Now, we need to add up every single one of the data values here, and then divide them by the total number of data points. Remember, mean is equal to the sum of all our x values divided by n, which is the total number of data points. All right, so let's just do that. So let's start off with x. Our mean is equal to 6 plus 20, uh, sorry, plus, plus 12, plus 13, plus 15, plus 18, plus 22, plus 24, plus 24, plus 26, plus 27, plus 28, plus 29, plus 30 plus 31 plus 34 all over the total number of data points which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now if you add all this up it ends up equaling 339 which we divide by 15 which is equal to 22.5 6. So, I'm just going to make some room now that we know that, but all of these points are coming straight from the table. So 6 is has a 0 for the 10s column, so it's just 6, and then it's 12, so 10, plus, and then 2, 12, 13, 15, 18, 22, 24, 24, 26, 28, 27, 28, 29, right? So that's how we get all of those numbers, in case you're wondering. So let's just grab all of this. Actually, let's grab all of it, and let's just delete it. So if we put down our mean is equal to 339 over 15, 15, which equals 22.6. 
Okay, so the m we do the exact same thing for the females. If we add up all of their values, let's do females, we ha will have uh, L mean is equal to, so 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 16 plus 19 plus 21, that's a 9, plus 25, plus 25, and, and so on. Until we get, when we add them all up, we will get, um, just quickly, 351, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 data values. Again, which means our mean is going to be equal to 23.4. So we solve for our mean for both. Now we just need to know the median. So the middle position, first we, we have to just work out how if our data position our data the number of data points in our data set is even or odd. It's fifteen, so it's odd. So to find the middle point we do n plus one over two, which is fifteen plus one over two, which equals eight. So the median for both of our male and female data is going to be the eighth data point. These are all in order, uh, so we don't have to worry about reordering them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the median for females is going to be equal to 25. Right? And for males, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's going to be equal to 24. So that's how we find the median and the mean for both males and females. In the um, number of retirees. Alright, so next we're going to look at the range and interquartile range.